Welcome everybody to the single hardest obstacle course we have seen in Rocket League to date. This thing is insane. It's called the Hornet's Nest. It's made by DMC and it's really inspired me to make something very similar, but I'll, I'll keep you guys updated about how that's going. But let's get right into this map. It's crazy. The, the obstacle course is insane and it turns out there's actually a faster mode. I've actually split it into two parts. This one's going to be the regular mode, just showing you guys how the level works. Definitely give it a try if you're on Steam. Download it on the workshop and see how it goes. Let me know how you guys do. But let's get right into the video and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a second part where I do the 150% challenge. It is crazy, <laughs> to say the least. It took much longer for me and uh, it was quite challenging uh, and it really pushed me to my limits. All right, here we go. Let's we'll see how it goes. All right, so I did do this level already. Just gave it a test, see how it is. It's pretty cool. I really like how it starts off. I wonder if it'll get like a lot faster. Just wanted to see if it was uh, like worth recording. See if it was long enough. And the challenges seem like it's gonna get faster and faster. I would assume. But so far, the spacing of the uh, the platforms are pretty big. There's like a good tunnel. I should go for this ball in the middle here. Whenever that shows up, um, there's like that exclamation mark that shows up. If you don't get the ball in time, it kills you. I wasn't. I was kind of confused at the first. The first time I did it, I wasn't really sure. But if you don't get that ball before. Uh, before the exclamation mark goes past you, you end up losing the level. Okay, not so bad so far. Yeah, pretty slow at the beginning. Hopefully it picks up the pace. I'm sure it, it will. <laughs> I really want to see how, just how fast it gets. I wish there was like different difficulties that you could choose before you started off. This is giving me a really good idea for a lot of maps. Uh, like this kind of stuff could be a map. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's already faster. Um, okay, I've got, got a good idea for like an actual like competitive map with this kind of design uh now that i know you can use dynamic trigger volumes i didn't know where's the thing okay there's the ball thing again let's grab that but yeah i really like this it's really cool uh dmc's doing a really really good job of making his maps i love the shadows on the on the ball and stuff too or the uh the pieces on the bottom really well done okay the ball thing oh gosh i really think this will help with uh like just maneuver, maneuvering around and stuff, like walking on these walls and stuff. Okay, it's getting pretty, <laughs> pretty tight here. Let's see what happens. There's the finish. Okay, not too bad so far. Let's see if I can not die. <laughs> That'd be the best. Okay, what's happening? Okay, the ball thing in the middle. Okay, that's fine. This part looks pretty tight. That's not too bad though. And the ball thing's just in the middle because it always spawns in the middle, and then you have to. Okay. Okay, I think the strategy is to like move backwards as you, <laughs> as those walls come closer. Come back down on it. It's not too bad so far. Once again, let's get above and then below. Oh god, this is this is level three. I'm not sure how many levels there are, but this could get really intense really fast if this is how fast it's already going. There we go. Okay, so level four, if there is one, let's see. Perfect. I don't know how many levels there are, so hopefully it's long enough. Okay, that's really scary already. Go for this thing. It's cool. I like the design too. It's really well done. Like the uh, the color is and everything, and the the, the outside is really cool. I wonder if that's a custom asset on the outside. The ball thing in the middle. Ooh. Oh no, I have to go down right after this. I think. Okay. And then back up. Oh, up here. <laughs> this is cool. The ball thing before it comes to me on the wall maybe this is sick <laughs> honestly i really love this design I'm, I'm really excited to make a map that's like similar to this design oh go for this before i die it's cool probably supposed to drive on the ceiling for this one but i don't mind going up like that okay this is cool yeah so i, I wonder how long it'll go i hope it's like 10 levels uh not just five because five would be pretty quick oh it's so scary oh this is cool <laughs> It's it's really trippy because you're not actually moving, um, but it feels like it when you look at it. Okay, so the ball thing up here. Oh, okay, it's getting faster. I'm scared. Cool. Yeah, I really I really think you guys should try this out if you haven't. Oh, the ball thing. Oh, okay. Pooh. <laughs> if you haven't if you haven't tried this out yet, uh, it, this is Hornet's uh, Hornet Nest by DMC, I believe it's called. Um, really worth a try. See how your mechanics can hold up. I'm gonna stay up here, see what happens. That actually worked out pretty well. Where's the next one though? Up there? Okay. So I think the strategy is like, if you can stay at the front as long as possible, and then if you need to build extra time, you can go backwards, uh, into the space, which seems to be working out pretty well for me so far. Okay. But at the beginning, I'm a little scared. I always like move back a bit because that crap comes at you pretty fast. 
I can go down here, I think. Perfect. Do the ball thing again. That's pretty cool. I like how you have to like actually go to targets, which I, I want to make a map similar to this. Um, with similar style. Maybe like an aerial one, like upwards instead of... Okay, wait a minute. Um, instead of... What is happening? Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That's so fast. This can be the ball thing again. So I have to go back down. And then I have to go up here. Really cool idea. Honestly, props to DMC for making this. And I, I, he just recently released that rings map. Oh, I'm, I got lucky with that, uh, with the wall there. <gasps> Wait a minute, what's happening? There's another one? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I got so lucky. If I didn't hit that wall, I would have lost the level for sure. I'm gonna go down here instead of up, just to be a little bit safer. All right, so we're on to level seven. I'm assuming it wouldn't stop on six. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I didn't even mean to do that, but that worked out. So now they're like adding targets with the challenges of these. And they seem to happen after every wall. So I wonder if we put like triggers on the, uh, like in between right here. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> no, I lost it. Okay, so that's, that was pretty difficult. I didn't expect that, uh, that thing to happen right at the same time. A little bit wide of a turn there. This is fine. It's too bad I didn't go through all the levels without dying, but it's okay. Pretty good for a first run. I'm gonna go backwards here so I can... Oh, the ball cam's a little bit trippy though. So it was up here, I think, and then on the opposite side. Okay, there we go. And land with the ball thing at the same time. That was pretty convenient. Let's go. I think it might be a ball thing. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh, I'll just go down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god. It's gonna throw a ball, cur a curveball at me. Okay, never mind. There's no more ball things. Okay, that was actually pretty. <laughs> that was pretty scary. <laughs> that was cool though. Level eight. This could be intense. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so far so good. Might throw a ball thing at me again here. Yeah, there it is. Up the sidewall. Oh, I'm. So Wait, I'm actually so disoriented. That was cool. Oh, it's on the top right corner here. This is actually not too bad so far. I think level seven was harder. Uh, just from like the weird angles and stuff. It's going to throw in a weird ball to me. I know it right now. It's going to do something weird. Okay, that's not bad. I keep saying ball thing. I need to stop that. <laughs> okay. No, I really, I really suggest you guys try this. See if you guys can keep up the speed uh, of these challenges because they're pretty... Pretty speedy, pretty difficult. This might change now. Okay, never mind. Sometimes they like put the trigger ahead of time, like this. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's it. Honestly, level seven, I think a little bit harder than level eight. Not gonna lie. Level nine. I think it's gonna be ten levels for sure. Yeah, okay, I don't wanna waste too much space on the field here. Oh, like this. Down we go. The ball thing's here now. I don't have to worry about it too fast. Though I'm super confused. Oh, okay. This is fine. That worked out way better than I expected it to with the uh, the turning there. Oh. <laughs> Hope there's more than 10 levels. That'd be actually really sick. Wait, where am I going? Okay, this is fine. No, I hit it. Oh, I didn't hit that. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> I didn't feel like I hit it, but I guess I did. Um, I'm not sure how accurate the trigger volumes are on those, but... Oof, okay. This is all fine. There we go. So I can actually wait for that wall to go past. Oh, this doesn't work as well as last time did. Oh. Okay. It's all good. There we go. Trigger should show up right after this. There we go. But I can't remember exactly where I messed up last time. But I'm trying to get a good idea of where that is before this happens. I think it was right around here I messed up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, they picked up the pace on this level, that's for sure. <laughs> Can't wait to see what level 10 is all about, because I'm probably going to lose. Oof, okay. Not bad. The final level, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm actually kind of hoping now, because I'm scared it's going to go any further. Okay, ball trigger right away. Cross here. I see nothing on this side, so it's probably going to be on the other side. Perfect. Oof. Okay, up here, and then in the mid. Oh no, it's gonna do the thing. 
<gasps> other side, other side, other side. Uh, okay, go back in the middle. Go down faster, go down faster. Oh my god. This is fine, just do a little reverse. And then maybe go on this side. <laughs> Wait, there's gonna be a thing. Uh, this is fine, lots of time, lots of time. If I just use that space like that, I'm gonna go up in the ceiling around this thing. Go in the middle. And then this is not bad at all. I'll go down and then jump back up and then maybe get back down to the ground in time. Perfect. Hope you guys are enjoying this though, because uh, this is definitely a really interesting challenge. I like how different it feels because everything else is moving and you're sitting still. You have to move around it. Oh, game speed 100%. Wait, death's four. Did I really die four times? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's this about? And it lets you fly out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is going on? I'm so lost. Is this like solid? Can I jump on this? I can. Uh, oh my God. Does it get faster? What are with these cat pictures? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I'm going to try uh, the fastest speed. I'm assuming this is faster. Oh my God. Okay. Well, wish me luck.